hi welcome back to my channel thanks for being here if this is your first time here please hit that subscribe button and join my YouTube adventure I'm working on growing my YouTube family and I'm having a lot of fun while I'm working on it if this is not your first time here thanks for coming back if you haven't subscribed yet please do don't forget to hit the like button on this video to comment down below give me any input on what you'd like to see what you don't like to see any of that kind of stuff and Today I have a Dollar Tree haul. It's a pretty big one, so I'm going to try to keep it not a super long video, but I have a lot of stuff that I'm excited to show you today. It's really just a whole lot of this and that going on, so there's not really any defined topic in today's haul, just a lot of fun stuff. So first let me start with these awesome totes. I got quite a few of them. I've been looking for white. I haven't been able to find white yet, but I got three light pinks. Four. Four light pinks. Those are for my bedroom. We're changing the colors of our bedroom from a darker, brighter pink to a blush pink and rose gold. So these are going to be great for storage in our bedroom, probably in our closet. I got two of the bright pinks, three teals, and one dark blue. I got the dark blue for one of my gift baskets. It didn't end up working out, so now I just kind of have it. But these other colors, what my plan is, is we're going to make some fairy and gnome gardens, the kids and I. And so I have been collecting the ones that are going to match outside so that we can make our fairy and gnome gardens. I've been collecting the fairies and gnomes and all their different things since last year, and I haven't given them to the kids yet. So I got the beach theme that was new this year for me, and then some of the other themes for the kiddos that came out last year. So I think it was the candy one for my daughter and I am um, I don't remember a bunch of like the probably fruits and vegetable ones for the boys I'm not sure but we're gonna go ahead and make some fairy gardens this year I thought these were a good vessel to put them in and then that way we can keep them up where the dogs can't get to them and then they can just kind of play with them move their stuff around that they like so this is what I got for that and for storage I also picked up some wrapping paper I have four of them here so if you've been watching my stuff, you know that I got the kids some gifts for the summer. And so I figure if there's anything I want to wrap and not just have sitting out, I'm going to use this fun summer wrapping paper. This one I love. It says sun, fruity, summer, swim, watermelon, happy, bikini. It has little pictures of popsicles, of watermelons. It is just perfect. It is literally a summer themed wrapping paper. And so I will use this if I choose to wrap any of the gifts for the summer and I'm not giving the kids everything that I've bought in for them throughout the summer. I figure I'm going to do some random like daily gifts for them and this I might wrap it up with them just to make it a little little extra, a little more special. I got this striped one. It just felt very summery to me as well. If I don't use it for summer gifts though, I'll probably use it for my daughter's birthday gifts because this is her favorite color and the stripes are really cute. I got this one that has like the colorful palm leaves on it. I also felt like that felt very summery with the palm leaves. It has the pink background. And then I also got this one that has all the different leaves and palm leaves on it. And this one's in the more greens, so this would work good for the boys too. And so I did collect those to wrap up summer gifts. Still talking about summer, I picked up this wall hanging. The glitter is a little bit falling off, but this is the one I was looking for. It's the one I've been wanting. I know they have a handful of them, but I just like the pink and the Take Me to Paradise with the flamingos because I love flamingos. And so I picked this up to decorate with for the summer. I also picked up scarves. So I'm going to use them either as table runners or under my holiday seasonal tree. But I got this one. I love it. It's pink with the palm trees. It has all the colors I love. I think it actually matches that water bottle that I might have picked up, but I just love that one, so I had to get it. I got two, two of these. These are fruity, so they have the drink on them, pineapple, strawberries, limes, so really cute. Just kind of that fruity drink theme, great for summer. And then I also got, well, I got a bunch, three of these ones, I don't know. Apparently I was on a roll and I got this one, it's got the pink and it's got the like palm leaves on it. And so, like I said, I'm going to use them for table runners, use them as a tree skirt, just find all kinds of different things that I can do with those. I did get the plates of this flamingo set, but I picked up the matching serving bowl. 
I got this one to use here at home when we eat in the backyard and so I thought it'd be nice to have a serving bowl when we have like a pasta salad or something to go along with whatever we're eating on the back patio. So I got that. To go along with eating out on the back patio, I picked up two of these food tents in the teal color. These will match, I think, our outdoor decor. It'll be really nice to keep the flies out of our food. And I was actually thinking, we, I did the grill kit. If you watched my hauls a couple bit ago, if go back down to my, my hauls, there's one where I made a to-go grill kit that we're gonna use. And I'm gonna see if I can find maybe a red one of these because that's what'll match that to-go red kit. Guilt, that to-go grill kit, red would match the colors that I put in there. So I'm going to try to keep an eye out for another one or two of those to add to that because if we're out at the park grilling and eating, I did get the plastic covers, but these would be nice too to have maybe over like a big bowl like that or something to add to the grill kit. But these ones will probably be used here at home to cover up our stuff. I got three more of these flags because I did get the flag holder from the Dollar Tree and I found these. Two of them are very different. They're different than the brand that I typically see there so i got this one it has like the fruit and the drink so it has a watermelon looks like like a cherry limeade a lime so i thought that was really cute and then i got this flamingo one which is different than the other flamingo one that i picked up it says be a flamingo and a flock of pigeons or something like that so this one has a palm tree and a very silly looking flamingo so those ones are a little bit different this one feels like the stick may have broken there because i don't think it's supposed to fold in half like that but I'll work with it after I get it opened. So I thought both of those were cute. And then I also picked up this one. This one is the typical Dollar Tree ones that I see. And it does say fresh lemonade. I got it in case the kiddos decide to do a lemonade stand sometime this summer. And I thought this would be cute sitting next to their lemonade stand. So I grabbed that for that. Um, in their summer section, I grabbed these flip-flops. This one was a totally different brand than I typically see at the, the, the Dollar Tree. So that's why I decided to pick it up. I know typically the flip-flops don't work for me. The spot right here really hurts when I wear them, but this one just feels thicker and sturdier. So I'm going to try these out. They have the palm leaves all over them in different colors with the kind of shiny pink flipper flopper holder part. But again, it's just a different brand. It's not the typical Dollar Tree brand. So I figured why not give those a try. I grabbed for the kids three pairs of sunglasses. One of my kiddos is complaining that he doesn't have any. I don't know about the other two, but they all are the same. The purple, the gray, and the blue. And then this way, when we're out and about, they just have some sunglasses to wear. And to go with them, I grabbed, for these are more for the lake, when we head out to the lake and have the water, but the, the sunglass holders that they can wear them around their neck. And then that way, if they fall off, they are wearing their glasses and they won't lose them into the lake. So I thought that that would be good for them. I just discussed the grill kit that I had made a couple hauls back. So please go back and watch that one. But while I was out and about, I found, well, when I was putting it together, I thought how we needed a, a cutting board in there. I got some knives, but I didn't get anything to cut on. So I grabbed a cutting board to add to it. I didn't have any mustard for it. So I found the smaller French's mustard at the Dollar Tree. So I grabbed that for the grill kit. And then I also grabbed these tablecloths. These are the ones that have the flannel backing, so they're a little bit thicker and potentially reusable. We'll have to see how they hold up. I got this one actually for the boat. We have a little table that we can set up on the boat, and so it'll be nice to have a tablecloth for that. I got this one for the grill kit, so when we go out to like parks and stuff and grill, this will be nice to put down on the tables. And I also picked up these little... Um, what are they? They're called jumbo clothespins, but I thought maybe depending on the table, this can help clip these on. So if there's wind, this will help hold the tablecloth onto the tables. That's going to be what I'm going to try with these anyway. So I got all of those to add to the grill kit slash boat. And I also picked these up for the same purpose, just to have on hand for when we go to the boat, when we go out and are grilling and stuff. And if I don't have those or if those don't work, I'll have these to use as well. As far as more stuff for the boat, these I believe are name brand. I saw them last year, people had hauled them. They're called the Cooling Chili Mini Wrap. So what it says you do is you get it wet, you wrap it around your neck and it helps keep you cool. And I thought those days that were really hot on the boat and the, the kids are complaining about just being too hot, this might help keep everyone cooled off. So I got enough for everybody. 
The retail price, it says right on there, is $1.99, but I got them for a dollar at the Dollar Tree with their own little holders. So we're going to try those out this year. And then if you watched several hauls back where I bought the kids a whole bunch of outdoor toys for the summer, I found these and I decided to pick them up to add to their outdoor toys that they get to play with this summer. They're ball poppers, so it comes with a little yellow ball in each of them. And you pop it and they pop up and right now they're landing in the net. But so this way I, I got six, so I have the three kiddos, but if any other kiddos come over to join us, join them, or if their dad and I decide we want to go play with them. There's enough for everybody to play and we can kind of go back and forth or we can do individuals or either way. I just wanted to make sure we had enough or if one breaks, then we have some extras. So I did get six of them, but I think those will be really fun to play outside with in the summer. I grabbed this 50 SBF sunblock and this aloe vera just for the outside because we need sunblock. This one I think I'm just going to literally leave in my car because sometimes I don't think about sunblock until we get wherever we're going. So if there's just one in the car, then we always have it, at least for the, the summer. And this does say that it's water resistant for up to 80 minutes, SPF 50, oxinate, oxybenzone, and paraben free. So it is a green buyer product, but it's some sunscreen and then aloe just in case we need something to soothe us. I'll keep this one at home. but. I figured I'd pick it up while I saw it because sometimes things are just kind of gone when they're gone. And I finally found the Flamingo and the Pineapple Ice Trays. I was really excited to find these. I actually have an idea with these where I purchased the Pink Lemonade and the Sunkissed Orange. And I thought I would make ice cubes. I will make this, you know, into a drink form, but freeze them into the ice cubes and put them into my water so that my water can kind of get the orange or the taste of the uh, lemonade and not be too overpowering and be a whole thing but have kind of a little bit of color to each of the ice cubes so the flamingos can be pink with the pink lemonade the pineapples can be kind of that orangey yellow with the orange flavor so it'll make them fun it'll show make them show up in the water and so I thought that that's what I would try with these and when I'm out in the backyard just having a drink then that way I have some nice fun ice cubes to go in there and then I also picked up some coloring books. I got these two for myself. I got the Tropical Florals and the Tropical Escape just to, you know, color them because that's the kind of stuff that I really like is the tropical stuff that makes me really happy. So I got both of those for me and then I had gotten for the gift baskets if you watch a couple, well, no, I haven't made, I filmed it but I haven't put it up yet, but I have um, some gift baskets that I put together and I did include this Adorable Animals coloring book in one of them and my son saw it and he kind of skimmed through it real quick he saw a picture of an owl he's a big harry potter fan and it made him want the whole coloring book i didn't know if i was going to come across it again but i did so i picked that up for my son and i think that oh no more summer stuff i got these stir sticks i got the palm trees and the flamingos i have a tear tray in my kitchen and i have a little coffee station in my kitchen so i think these will go in one of those two spots put them in a cup and have them either on my tear tray or in my coffee area as the stir sticks but i like them they're both super cute they come with 10 each and i just like i said love palm trees and flamingos and lastly for the kind of summer stuff i grabbed this sunglass little baggie I'm really terrible about my sunglasses. I just toss them in my purse all the time. I typically buy them from Dollar Tree, so it's not a huge loss, but it's also not good to try to scratch them on purpose. So I will put them in here, toss them in my purse, and that will help protect them. I thought it was cute. I'm still looking. They have like a thicker bag that kind of has like the pop top. I've seen them on some other people's hauls. I have not been able to find those this season at any of my Dollar Tree, so I'm keeping an eye out. But until I can find them, I have this one. And then I have today to show some picture frames. I've honestly been collecting frames. I have a lot of pictures I need to put up and I'm trying to find the ones that look good and match my decor. I got these white ones. I got the 5x7s and the 4x6s. I have also seen these in the 8x10s, but of course when I went back to actually purchase them, I can't find the 8x10s. So I'll grab some of those as well and maybe do like a picture wall somewhere in my house with these. They just look really nice. I think when they're hanging up on the wall, you're not even going to be able to tell that they're Dollar Tree. They're light enough where I think I can stick them with contact 
you know, the command strips and not have to put holes in my walls. So I'm just keeping an eye out now for about the eight by tens to be able to, to add to those and get them put up on my walls. For the pups, I have been hauling some summer gifts for them as well. I got them each, I got a pineapple and a flamingo kind of plush toy. And then I got one that looks like a slice of watermelon and a slice of pineapple for them. And then I also got them some new treats that I will add to their little summer gift. Thrifty Tiffany is an amazing Dollar Tree hauler. I love her videos. I think that's what really pulled me into doing hauls. And she just got her new pup, Fella, who is adorable. I love it when she shows him in her hauls. And she got some of these bones. They're the no hide peanut butter flavor. And she says that he absolutely loves these. And so I figured I would try them out with my two pups and give them each one. Let them chew on these for a while. And I've been getting these for a long time. I think I recently found them now in bags as opposed to these little containers. But they're just little dog bones. Gourmet Pet Treat Bakery. Um, they're made in the USA. The puppies love them. So these are one of the things we get pretty regularly. And then I also picked up in the hardware department these different glues. So I found this one. It's the Fix All Adhesive. It says that it basically works for everything. I have some wood that I need to try to glue together, so I'm going to try this out. I got this multi-purpose cement, so I'll try this out as well, see how it works of holding stuff together, and this epoxy glue. So with all of those, I'm going to give them a try. It doesn't hurt to try. I hear good things about this original Super Glue brand, so like I said, might as well try them out. I also found this in the hardware section. It's the work light that has two different lights. Another thrifter I really like, Pookie's View, she hauled this and said that she really likes this light. So I figure why not? This is something good to leave in the car to have just in case. Probably have one somewhere in the house just in case, you know, electricity ever goes out and you need a, a flashlight to, to light everything up. So I got two of those actually, but I just pulled one out. I got these sanitizing wipes. Just good to have. Probably going to put them in the car or put them in our lake bag, something like that, or just have them here at home because the kids are gross and dirty. So I got those. I grabbed two boxes of tissues. We actually usually buy our tissues from Costco in the really big, it's upside down, in the really big packages, but I just really liked both of these prints on these. One's the Scotties, one's the Puffs. They both make me happy. I like the prints, so I picked them up. I grabbed both of these hand soaps. These are Juicy Orange Liquid Hand Wash. I'm actually not going to keep them in this container. If you look at one of my Five Below hauls, we have some light-up soap dispensers that the kids absolutely love. And I've been putting the antibacterial, the kind of orange color soap in there, but it doesn't look as pretty as clear soap. So we're going to try this. I opened it up. I checked. It's clear, and it'll smell like oranges. So I think that these will work really nice in those dispensers. I picked up a new lotion. I love this lotion. It's the one I've been using for a long time. I just love it. And I'm out at upstairs in my bedroom. I've been shaking it like crazy trying to get it out. So this is just a replacement. I grabbed this. It looks like a name brand made in the USA hand sanitizer. It's citrus scented. And so I'm going to try this out. I have been looking for the L'Oreal hair stuff. I have not been able to find the L'Oreal, but I did grab the Salon Selectives. I haven't tried any of this yet. Every so often I like to just scrunch my hair and give it a little bit of wave. And I feel like both of these, the medium hold crunch free mousse and the light hold hairspray will work well to do that. And then this heat protectant will work well when I straighten my hair. I haven't tried them yet, but I'm going to go ahead and give them a try because for a dollar, why not? I grabbed this Olay to go body wash. And it's strawberry mint scented, which I am very excited to smell and try. We are going to Las Vegas here and not too far in the future. And so I grabbed this. I thought this was something I can take with us to go there. And speaking of going to Las Vegas, I did grab shower caps. So I got this one. Well, I got this one. So I got, the purpose I got this for is for the boat, actually not for our trip, but it's, they're great for shoes. So I got these because when we're at the lake and if your shoes get all muddy and get all gross and you don't want them all over the carpet, you stick them in a shower cap. It contains all the mess into the shower cap and then that way it doesn't get everywhere. So the, this pack of six I got for the boat for that purpose. And then I grabbed three of these. These are a 
single pack of a shower cap, but they're definitely more quality, more of a plastic than the thin material that those are, and these have pineapples on them, and I got these to pack to go to Las Vegas, so that way when you pack your shoes and your luggage, and the bottoms of shoes are always so dirty, this will help keep them from touching your clothes, and that way your shoes, especially when we're going to Las Vegas, it's dirty, so when we're coming home and we have to pack some of our shoes, that's especially when I want to use these to keep all the germs off of everything in our luggage, so I did grab three of those. I grabbed some of this mosquito citronella repellent stuff. This one's the wristbands. I grabbed a handful of them. I didn't pull them all out, but I grabbed a handful of these to have on hand for when we're outside and the mosquitoes are just being ridiculous. And I also grabbed some of these wipes. You get two wipes in this package for the same reason. So that way, if we're anywhere, I'm going to put some in the car. I'm going to put some in my husband's truck. We're going to have them here. That way, try to take them to the boat. And if any, we're anywhere and the mosquitoes are just getting ridiculous, we have some ways of trying to keep them away. Now, the last of my stuff is just some cosmetic type stuff. So for nails, I actually just got my nails done. I love shellac and I just got them done, but I'm not going to be able to get them done probably all summer. So I'm working on being able to do my own nails. So I've been buying pretty polish and all that kind of stuff from the Dollar Tree, but right now they're shellac and I love them. But I did pick up this cuticle remover. I picked up this buffer block and the little cuticle remover tool and pusher. So this way when I'm doing my own manicures, I have some of the tools to be able to help me get it done and then that way I can use the pretty nail polishes that I keep getting at the Dollar Tree. I got this little container. I have a handful, well not a handful, I have one. I use it for my rubbing alcohol for when I am cricketing and I have to do rubbing alcohol on the plastic stuff. But I got another one because I use witch hazel on my face after I wash it at the end of the day. And so I thought instead of just having the big witch hazel bottle that I have, I'm going to put some in here and just pump it onto the cotton round that I use. And I thought that one, it doesn't take up as much space. I could put the rest of it just kind of away, but use this when I'm using it daily and it's just going to be easier to use. So I got this for that, that for witch hazel. I got these pluckers to go in their little to-go box. And the reason I picked these up is because of the to-go box so I can pack them for when we go on our trips. I did pick up one charcoal infused toothbrush. I've been using some teeth whitener lately and I thought when I, I brush my teeth with the special teeth whitening toothpaste at night that came with my package with the, the strips and mouthwash and all that. And then during in the morning when I brush my teeth, I just use my regular toothbrush well, toothpaste. So I thought that this would be really nice with my regular toothpaste that has the charcoal and hopefully it'll help keep my teeth whitened. So I'm going to try that out. I picked up this razor. I did, if you watched my haul that included some Kohl's items, I grabbed some really nice flamingo razors that I'm excited to try. But after I had gotten those, I saw this one at the Dollar Tree. It comes with three of the three blade blades cartridges and one razor. So I thought I would give it a try. I figure worst case when I travel, I could take this with me because that way if something gets lost, it's not your $10 razor that you're losing. So if it works well, I'm going to try it out and potentially have this be my travel razor. So, you know, why not? I picked up this satin pillowcase. I've been meaning to try them. I hear that they're really good for your hair and your face to sleep on satin. And so I got this one. I had a hard time choosing which one, but I got the one that says good night with the cute little eyeballs. They had one that said good morning. Um, they had some other ones too. And I really had a hard time picking the design I wanted, but I ultimately went with good night. If I decide I really like it, I'll probably pick up a few other ones so that I can swap them out and use different ones. I got the three pack of these hair ties, the jelly spirals. I already used one. It's in my car now so that I always have it with me. So I opened it and used it, but I have the two on here still. I really like these because they don't leave the creases in your hair when you just have to throw your hair up real fast. So that's why I have those. I did find this hard candy little eyeshadow. It's called 773 Oink. It's got the brown, the white, and the pink all in there. So I'm really excited to try this out and see what it looks like when you put it on your eyes. So I grabbed two. I think it looks really pretty in the container. Like I said, I'm excited to try it out. I found this hard candy liquid eyeliner, long wearing. I have not tried liquid eyeliner, at least in a really long time, but for a dollar, it's worth it to try it to see if I can make it work. I typically use a pencil that has a smudger on it because liquid eyeliner takes a lot more precision, but I'm going to try it out and hopefully, hopefully that works well for me. 
I did get the Wet n Wild Cushion um, correctors. They're all color correctors. So I got two of these ones. These are the for redness, and that's what I typically am trying to fix. I have a green one right now upstairs. It's not one of these, but it's something different. So I did get two of the green ones because that's what I feel like I use a lot is to kind of correct some redness on my face. But I also got the yellow color corrector. It says it brightens dullness. So I'm going to try both of those out, see if they work well. Um, I'm really excited for the, the for redness one because I I'm afraid when I run out of mine, I can't find it again. So I have that. I got this Milani concealer. I got it in the Deep Honey. It might be too dark, but the one I already got is definitely too light right now. So, you know, you can only find the colors you can find. So I'm going to try this out, see if it works. I got this cute little Beauty Benefits Glow with the Flow bronzer. Um, it's just little. It's great for packing. Like I said, we're going on a trip. So this is a nice small compact that I don't have to find a lot of room for. So that's what I got that for. At some point I bought some eyelashes, but I don't know where they are. I don't typically use eyelashes, but I got some to try, and then I got some of the Ioni glue to try as well. I figure, you know, for a dollar, it's worth a shot. I love the way everyone's eyes looks, everyone's eyes look with their with their eyelashes. So I'm gonna give it a try. It's worth a shot. And then lastly, whew, I got these clips. I figure these will be really good for when I am either straightening my hair and need to pull some out of the way or when I have my hair down and I'm doing my makeup, it gets your hair out of the way. I just thought they were cute. They're perfect for that because they're that salon style of clips. And I really like the colors of them as well. So that is everything I have today. Sorry, I talked so fast. I feel like it was a lot to get through, but I got through it. Please like this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I love having you here. Thank you so much for joining me. And I will definitely see you next time. Bye.